Greetings, folks. Got a blurb for you here about Crystal Caves HD. I've done a full video about this over on the LGR main channel, but uh, yeah, just here I'd like to focus on creating my own level that I can post to the Steam Workshop because that is now a thing. You can create levels and upload them to Steam Workshop. I don't know how it works on GOG. Um, there is a version of this for sale on GOG as well as Steam. It costs $7.99 on either storefront, so that's not a bad price in my opinion. I was hoping it wouldn't be like 15 bucks or something. So yeah, $7.99. Anyway, there are some levels available made by folks, but there's not too many. And we need an LGR level, like we just do. So that's what we're gonna do here. Don't know what form it'll take, how large it'll be, how long this will take to put together. But I want to do that because, uh, like I said in my other video, this is just a dream come true, being able to make my own levels. I used to draw my own levels on paper and stuff as a kid. Just, oh man, imagining my own levels. <laughs> it was a thing I did a lot with Crystal Caves. I was obsessed with this for a while. Anyway, we can uh, do things here. Put in my name. I don't know what we're going to call this, but we're going to call it that for now. There's all sorts of options about Gravity Rocks music. Not gonna do any of that stuff. Uh, the tile set though, I do wanna change this to something cool. I was always rather fond of the industrial looking tiles, but I'm feeling the blue at the moment. Yeah, like some of these sort of metallic backgrounds, I always like the dark levels. I like all these, but uh, oh, you know what? I'm feeling the brick, brick and blue. Yeah, that seems nice. And now, which corner do I want to start Milo in? I mean, I guess I don't have to start him in a corner, but... <laughs> you can start him anywhere, you know? I'm, I'm thinking this. Why not? Stick him right... here. Yeah. And then with the terrain tool here, we can just sort of draw terrain exactly like that extend it outwards and i always kind of like the idea of an exit being right next to the start but it just takes a long convoluted way to get there so like this yeah and then just kind of going all the way around the level going through a bunch of crap to to get back to where you started effectively i don't know it appeals to me somehow. Uh, and yeah, you can't hold down shift to like destroy things. So that's handy. I don't know if Milo can make that jump though. Uh, I think he can jump three tiles. Yeah, exactly one, two, three. So in order to make that work, we'd have to have like something. Yeah, let's just do this. Real quick. Yeah, I like that. Okay. It's important to get right. I could be designing this with the wrong heights in mind. <laughs> you know, again, unless we're changing gravity or doing something weird, which I think that's fun, but you know, I'm not gonna do that for this level. Uh, unless it changes later. Who knows? I don't know, I don't know. So we got moose rooms. Stick a moose room at the end. All right. So I do know this is going to be effectively the end here. I just don't know what it's going to be to get there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just what that is, you know. It's just what that is. I don't like a ton of backtracking in levels. But if it's sort of a loop or a, or a spiral or something to sort of get back to an area, I think that can be kind of interesting. Eh. Who knows, right? This is just going to start taking forms. I'm just going to start drawing shapes. Seeing what happens. Got that shape, of course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 
Just kind of funnel him through all these weird places. Weird stuff going on. Kind of up and around. And then like... Something there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to see things in my head now. So let me go ahead and shave this. It's been shaved. Alrighty. I need platforms. Or at the very least, I need signs. <laughs> what are the signs for? Like, it always seemed pretty obvious to me. I don't know. All right, where's the dagger and platforms? I think they're over here. Uh, moving platform. These are sideways platforms, right? Yeah. <laughs> that works. Oh, look at this. It's coming together already. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, I love this already. Like... <laughs> I don't know why this makes me so happy, but it does. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man. I guess control S doesn't save. Let me make sure that I'm, I'm remembering some of these. Okay, so we got shift, uh, da da da. Middle mouse drags, well, that's handy. Switch edit mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking for. Oh, that's handy. Select activator with a left click, make a connection. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, so let's um, start some crap. There's like an outline, of, uh, the highlight was throwing me off. There we go. So that'll turn on that one. That's good. Okay. I got a hammer here making things complicated. Let's do that. Right there. Got some grass. Oh, a falling thingy. That's always annoying. <laughs> We've got to annoy things. Annoy players. Annoy myself. Milo here and see what this is about. Whoa, you have just enough time to get out of the way of that. Alright. I'm thinking like another moving platform up here to get to that. That'll be fun. I kind of wish there was like an undo tool or a, an eyedropper tool for some of these things so you could, you know, you could do stuff. Oh, so there's an off button too. Interesting. So that can, this one will be on already. This one will be off until you turn it on over here. Yeah, now I can't use it. Perfect. Alrighty. So, I'll be dealing with that. I'm always going to have the air thing somewhere. Really precarious. Because, yeah, I was thinking something like bats or something, or. or 
these annoying guys. I like the birds. Can I just put a spider in there? <laughs> How would that work? I don't think it would be good. Oh no, the spider! <laughs> Just curious what that would do. Uh, it does that. Uh, it's a terrible thing. Okay. I guess I should start, I should start playing, placing uh, what am I trying to say? Gems and crystals and things, right? At each kind of point. And I want something like, like a little reward room. I was thinking this, you know? Like if you go all the way over here, get the key. And then there's just like rewards everywhere. Ooh, you can change the quantity. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Something like that. I wonder if you can change it to to put... You have to be able to, right? Because these little guys, if we place them around, there's usually a way, uh, or, you know, there are always some, like, hidden gems inside there. Hidden gems just stuck inside there for you to pull out. I don't know. I don't know how to put them in there. There's got to be a way, though. Can I just do this? Nope. I kind of wish you could load, uh, like, existing levels that are already in the game, like the actual base game levels, and just see how they're made. That would be neat. I know they probably don't, you know, want you to do that, but... <laughs> it would be. I don't know what that does. Yeah, it's a fan, but it's like not doing anything. Okay. I didn't think about it activating down there, but of course it does. Yeah, suck it, bird. Okay, that's still not enough. Help! <laughs> so it goes. Ah, that's bothersome. Let's put that here and here, and then uh, some platforming platforms to make sure I can place stuff there. Although, really, I do just want to test. I just want to see this real quick. So, yeah, I can bounce into the eye beams, steel beams, but there's no hidden gems. How do I do that? Is that a right click thing? Ah, it is a right click thing. Well, there you go. That's how you add a hidden gem. Isn't that neat? The suckers are always fun. Well, I'm not, I don't know about always, but uh, they are. They are there. See, so yeah, it'll suck you into that, but I don't want to, so you have to jump over it. Neat. And I'm gonna 
Nem. <laughs> I'm I'm second guessing my my reasoning in terms of like uh, everything, but I do like the idea of of this bonus room kind of a lot. So let's add a couple gems in here, like like dish. Yeah, just like gems in all of them. <laughs> Just because rooms like that made me really happy as a kid. Like just going in here and you get the key. Where's the key? Give me that key. Look at that. Look at that. That is excitement right there. That's that's pure happiness. Okay. Yes. That'll be a reward that's worth getting. So put the key in there and then uh, some daggum irritating enemies. Like, we gotta make it worth it, right? <laughs> That's just the worst. Look at that. Yes! Painful. Oh, that's awful. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's a nice little. So I'm gonna have to place more weapons, or ammo, maybe a power thingy somewhere that's like just far away enough. <laughs> I like how I'm designing this level around a bonus room, but hey, that's what it is. So like, what if it was here? Would I have enough time to get down there? Would it, would that make any difference? It depends on what else what else is in the way, right? And, okay, so assuming that I have that. And we'll stick this there. And this there. Now let's just see if that works. Oh, that is basically just enough time to get one or two of them. Okay, that might work. So like the drop down here and you get that and if you don't anticipate it, nah, whatever, you just gotta waste your bullets. Hmm. Okay. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's got multipliers though. Hmm. Got some tornadoes. We <laughs> just fill it all with tornadoes. That'd be the worst. Oh man. Do I want myself to be able to get? Yeah, I do. Kind of. Like I, I like Milo being able to return to places. Yeah. Even if there's not a reason to, being able to fully go back through the entire level that you just came out of. Yeah, I don't I don't like being arbitrarily held to some section of the level. Okay, so that works. Nice. Okay. Hawkeye. So gets in here. Grab some ammo. Let's have, let's have, uh, I still don't know how these guys work exactly. Because if you set them off in like a, an, an area, they'll just kind of keep on going in weird directions. Like, look at that. It came towards me there. And now he's going a different way. And now he's going that way. And now he's going that way. Now he's dunked dun that way. So let's do that. 
this. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's going to go off to the right from above. He'll go up and then this way or this way. It doesn't look like he goes up and to the right ever. Or if it does, it's pretty uncommon. Funky little green things. Don't know how they work. <laughs> but they do. So, that's good. Let's put some of those there. And, uh... Snake friends. Perhaps a minecart here somewhere. Cater pillars. One of these fire thingies. That might be brutal if you have to jump over that. Oh, the sucker's pulling me over already. Nice. Yeah, because that... <laughs> okay, that works. Nice. Okay. Okay, that, that's a thing. How does this work? Huh. Ah, that is how that works. Because I think they, yeah, they changed it to where these... I don't know if they changed it, but I saw a note somewhere where these spawn differently. Like, you, you have a... Instead of it being a random thing, you'll... I'll get like a pickup. I guess that's how that works. I don't think it was like this the last time I played, the last patch I played or whatever. So that's a little extra incentive to go over here first. Hmm. Just had enough time. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Alright, before I get too bogged down with all these weird, weird little extra thingies, let me just make sure that I can actually get through the level navigationally. As we go through here, da 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 da. Yeah, I need a platform over here of some kind, so I'm gonna do that. And we'll do. Not that. <laughs> like. Hmm. There we 
we go. So that'll provide a way to get up on that platform. What does this do? I don't know. I think these are these are drippers, right? This big old green guy right here. That's always fun. I just realized too, I don't know exactly how to change difficulties. Like how to make different versions for different difficulties or even if you need to. Because I think it just changes... Yeah some of the things behind the scenes, not necessarily the layouts of the levels themselves. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, trippy thing. Put the trippy thing here. And like a strawberry. Yeah. Well, I forgot about the stop buttons. That'd be kind of fun, too. Getting sidetracked again. Okay. I just want to make sure they can get through uh, parts. <laughs> I need to do that. Ah, I didn't get the cherries. Oh no. Whoops. Okay, so go over here. Come down here. Dink, dink, dink. Jump on here. Jump on there. Go up here, jump down here. Do I want that? Hmm. Maybe. Actually, this might be kind of fun. And I'll put a door right there. This up here. I don't know that that'll be that. Nah. Well, I guess either way works, huh? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I, I don't like gyms around that. I want to put them over. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so jump, 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 jump. Go up here, because that means you got to go up here. Unlock that. Go down here, and then dropping down. But do I want to go to the power thingy? No, I don't. So, let's do a drop down of right here-ish. Okay. That would be evil. Let's not do that. 
Right here, though. I like that. Okay. And come down here. Gems. Get on that thing. And then I'm going to put that there. Yes. Okay. See how that goes. No, no, no. I didn't mean to shoot the air. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an evil little corner. Exactly as I intended. Okay. So we'll do that. Now, where are the enemies? They're all over here. Yeah, I need something to block them so they're not going so crazy over there. Whatever, I just want to test this. Oops. Come on now. I was going for the strawberry like a moron. Okay. Here's that. Ding, ding, ding. Only something down here. Something ish, maybe there. Doink. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> okay. My own level is killing me. What is this? All right. There we go. Over there. Yeah, I want the enemies kind of hanging around in that little section down there, because I, I think that's fun. There we go. Because, yeah, I want a risk of shooting that air thingy, so I need that to change. Oh, literally like a half second away from getting that strawberry. <laughs> now I'm out of ammo. Ah. Come on, I can jump over you if you're... There we go. Yeah, I definitely need more gun pickups. One or two more. Because, yeah, now that I've got the power thingy, I can't even shoot to get over here. I need a way to get back up there. All right. Ah, I need to be taking notes. <sighs> okay. So the snakes and this guy. I forget if the uh, if these tiles stop creatures in their path or not. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, get back over here. No, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. So that's, that's what that is. It might be nice to still have it, I guess. Hmm. Um, okay. mushroom there for no reason. <laughs> I just, I don't remember which one of these are solid items. Like this is if you jump on it, you know, but yeah, you can just go past it. I think all the ones in the tiles like this, maybe not this one. Ah. Because, yeah, these, if you can go and jump on top of them, or you can go in front of them. That one's solid, though. Yeah. That'll do the trick. I just don't want to use, like, blue background tiles for everything, so. Let's, uh... Oh, 
Let's do this. Yeah. Dang it, Milo, get out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, I keep wishing for an eyedropper. Which I really don't think is in here. I guess that'll just go there. All right. What does this do? Just, just looks weird. Yeah, just, just there to look weird. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, this might actually be a handy little thing for some of these spots because, because yeah, why not? Because it does mean you have to jump out of the way, or you know, under them. Huh. I don't know. Let me let me let me see here. Right, and that allows this to pass through it, so I still have to do this. Okay. Nice. I like that a little better, I think. <laughs> I think. Because you can't just, like, jump down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it allows this to pass through. Okay. Okay! Interesting. And then, do I want to lock this room or do I just want to leave it there as a tease? Kind of feels like a nice little tease on its own. I don't really need to do anything. And then I can make use of, uh... <laughs> well, I don't know, actually. Whoops. Alright, so that let me get, lets me get through there. Uh, I need to get some way to get to up here. What is this room going to be? Uh, just more gems, I guess. More gems. Maybe a big old eyeball monster. Because those are fun. Man, those are our fun. Put some minecarts in here just to, like, screw with everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. Screw with everything. It's the Crystal Cave's way. Put some daggum bats, just crap loads of bats. <laughs> I don't know about that. That'd be, that'd be stupid. <laughs> so let's see what it looks like. So many bats. Oh man, so many bats. <laughs> ah. I mean, it's oddly manageable. Okay. That's too many bats. <laughs> It's a bat room. Okay, let's not do that. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Bats. I'll do something like, uh... Yeah, I don't know. What does this look like? Something like this? 
Does that look cool? I don't think it does. I think it needs to be... Yeah, those don't really line up. What, what's, what's the deal? That does. Hmm. Dang it. Okay. I kind of like that. So if I move him here, let's do, uh, let's do another something like that. Something like... What does this do? I don't know. Yeah, crates and things. Something like this. Gear things, they got weird stuff everywhere. They got danger signs. All sorts of decorative stuff I can stick in here. Oh man. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to know what some of these tiles are supposed to go together to look like. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Well, we got some slime here. That's always a thing. I don't know if I want slime in this level though. Got weird little pipes. A big old girder looking thing. That might be handy for up here. I think that can be jumped on. <laughs> we'll see. See all the way down there. I don't know if I like that. That's a little. <laughs> that's a little mean. Hmm. Not going to do though. Yeah, I definitely need way more ammo for this level. This is getting out of hand. Or I could make it so it's not a straight drop in there and we can just like... Eh. I don't know. I feel like this needs to be like that. <sighs> and then... Uh... This could be kind of mean. Let's see what happens. So it doesn't activate from all the way up there. That's cool. That works. Do I want yet another platform that moves? Not really.
Maybe a little thing you jumping up there. Maybe. I don't know. This pretty much makes it work now, I think, with all this in the way. Huh. All right, so let me just try to do a run through really quick. <laughs> Forgot I made that change. Oh, <laughs> stupid air thing. <laughs> wow, that hurt me. I wasn't even totally touching him. Dang it. Ah, oh, jeez. That does make it tricky. I don't know if I want to both of those snakes. Especially since like the only, that is, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of one of those snakes. Cause having to deal with both of them in there is just stupid. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Put something fun over here in this little bottom left corner area. Dang it. Takes so long. There we go. What, what happened to those tiles? Screwed something up. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is so satisfying. Okay. Because you can just hold jump as you're going through there and just get all the gems. <laughs> That's pretty great. Totally out of ammo, so that blows. That's what it was. Uh huh. <laughs> and one little happy mushroom at the end. Perfect. Oh man, there's a lot of little things to iron out here, that's for sure. This is the gist of it, though. It's coming together, man. Look at that. I got a crystal caves level. Screw that one snake. Uh, got rid of that guy. This section, I don't know. We don't need, need a spider here, do we? This falling one. Yeah, 
I'm going to say this is an outline of the level. It's not going to be the final thing. I'm going to continue messing around with it. Uh, and yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this as <laughs> selective nostalgia. Because I sure do have nostalgia for this game. <laughs> But it's selective, man. It, there's some frustrations. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's just how it is. You, you accept it, right? Or you don't. Uh, yeah. So that is um, my selective nostalgia level. It'll be available on the Steam Workshop as you're watching this video. So check it out. It will be different than what you're seeing here. This is just a rough draft that I've put together in less than an hour. So I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing it come together this far. I'm going to continue tweaking it now and having some fun with it.